Oh, yeah, chat. How's it going? Oh, let's try this actually. <coughs> What's up, Gay? Hello, Sif Lord Bishop. Hello, Jack. The Proby at Lance. How's it going? How's everyone doing? I guess I can do the same. Anyone found a gibbering gemstone? It's uh, from Chiltara in the Commons of Frost in X3. You have to go to the waypoint Bridge of Corsic in X3. Am I going to play the Torch tomorrow? Yes. Well, tomorrow it starts at like 3 a.m. for me on Saturday or something. So, <laughs> yeah, not not tomorrow, I guess. I'm probably going to try to get up early on Saturday and blast because Saturday I also have Maxwell meeting anyway in the afternoon. So I'm probably going to extreme before that. So I guess Friday will be like no rest on the wicket. See how that goes. And then Saturday we're going to do a Torchlight. I'm going to do multiple Torchlight streams, actually. So throughout the weekend, I guess, I'm going to be blasting. Yeah, Norris or Vickers tomorrow. So I guess we finished this here. I have pretty much all the gear I want. I just need to try to craft Shenlongs. I have finished the Art of Rides, yeah. And it is worth fun to bring gemstone, yeah. If you play this season... I don't know, more than 30 hours, 40 hours or something, I'd say you should definitely finish the altar as soon as possible so they can start profiting from all of the effects and the double primals and stuff. Okay, so, um, Shenlong, what do we got? Oh, I actually saved out all of these. <laughs> okay. First of all, my sound is bugged again, I suppose, right? Every time, man. Good luck, Jack. Yeah, okay, Scrat, hello. Are Paragon boards changing for the four Season 4? Uh, well, the boards specifically are not changing, unless there's maybe some stuff in the final patch notes. It could be that they're gonna like, do some tweaks, like maybe they're gonna lower the stat requirements for the doubled modes and stuff, but outside of that, I don't think so. But the way you build your Paragon boards will change. Like, in general, like, you have to basically get all of the life and, you know, defenses and all that as, as much as you can from Paragons in the future. Hello, Justin. Open world lover. Shannon shift on EU this week is the reason I hate the Witch Doctor. <laughs> what do you got there? Looks like something bears. Can we see that? I'm curious. Looks like it's a zombie bear build now. Uh, scrim Sean. <laughs> nothing, nothing, and the squirts. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Se even seems like a normal build. I think this guy read my guide. Oh, what's that here? Ooh. Juicy. Wait, how do you get so much of the same? Uh, this is like the uh, thing that they drop all the same stuff and then like more of the rare stuff. Looks funny. It's like two fracture orbs. 
three. Okay, do I have any ancients here? Look at this, all these Shandongs here, and there's not even all of them I found. I just like started throwing some in the stash so I can reforge. So I only have this one as an ancient Shandong, man. Got very unlucky with those. So I'm going to try to craft that one first. That's the highest priority right now. We have three and a half thousand shards. So this is a Redentus Assault. Which is somewhat usable, I'd say. If I really have to go with it, but it has really little damage. So let's do a Fist of Legends first. And hopefully we get something. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Uh, that works. Life Parade is actually something I wanted on both builds. Has maximum spirit for the Shen for the Raymond. Sometimes lucky. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, I'm not 100% sure about how much area versus how much cooldown I need on the different builds. But we'll have this to, like, swap it. We have to just roll the spirit region. It's easy. It's a primal. We can roll it. So, we'll see. Okay. So, I think I'm going to try to get a bit better Redentless Assault. I think I will need a cooldown roll on this weapon. Like, cooldown area would be kind of nice. Like, area is pretty powerful, actually, on both builds, I would say. Because you can't see pull stuff together with Cyclone Strike. Which yard do I expect to reach? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Like, 140, 142 was like kind of like my goal for POJ. A bit less for uh, Raymond, I think. Okay, good start to the stream here. Let's just not lose this weapon when I play Raymond, and then all is good. Okay, we land us a sword. Let's try another one there. But uh, if I don't really get anything, I still have to make a quartz necklace, I think. We don't have that many forgotten souls. Hey, John Dustin. Okay, now we're getting nothing. Uh, has better damage. Also has maximum spirit, but it has a spirit region and percent damage. And I don't want any of those two stats, to be honest. We can try a few more, maybe. Oh, let's see first what we got here. I agree how low the damage is on this thing. It has such low damage, I probably have to roll the damage range, honestly. And I guess attack speed is okay to keep. But I don't really want to have attack speed, honestly. Let's see what we got for squirts. We never really got one. We want a cold squirts for POJ. We have a Travelers. That is really nice, this one. This is fine. We have a Combos Rose. It has Int, but it's otherwise pretty good. Unity, we never got an Ancient one, but I guess this will do in the worst case here. Non-Ancient, almost perfect. So yeah, let's try to get a Squirt, finally. Before we move on here. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that's, not, that's not bad, actually. 19, 77, 10 crit. We're going to be dual wielding, so the loss of crit damage is not too crazy. Okay. I think I'll just go with this one. I 
Not gonna do any holy village shenanigans, I think. There's another fire one. Okay, as for these in here, I still might reforge more of the uh, Relentless Assault. So I'm not very happy with either of those two. But first, let's get the other stuff in order and see where we are. 2.7k souls, so you probably have to roll like at least 500 of them or so, just on my items. Can we also have to make... Primal. I want crit, crit, attack speed, dex, I think. Ugh. Looks very weird. Like, also like the, the color of the item itself is kind of the same as the background. It's kind of funny. I mean, I could do another augment. And try to just get a normal Fist of Thunder and do a Primal Shenong Fist. At least for Raymond. Looks like a normal Legendary. Eh, not quite. But that's kind of funny. Okay, I guess it works. Doesn't have a secondary, but it works. Okay, Fist of Thunder again. Have any more of these? I know they have more Fist of Thunder. Hi, Crucible. Wanna milk it, boy? The streamers and luck, yes. Uh, we're off to a good start today, so that's nice. Ah, oh, this thing has physical res. I kinda like that one. Uh, I might be too squishy anyway, so maybe I'm gonna go with the Vitality, honestly. The vitality will help us a lot to survive. Yeah, we could go Dex, Vitality, Crit, Crit. Or even Dex, Vitality, Attack Speed, Crit. Like, the Attack Speed is only really super important if we run out of resources constantly with the Shenron active. I'm not sure exactly how it will be these days. Because if we out tower with the resources on Crit and stuff. We have 115 ashes left, so um, I guess at a very minimum we can salvage this one. We can try another bracer. Maybe get one of a secondary for the PJ. It's literally the same. Holy Dex Vitality crit two pickup. Okay. Should we try one more time on the Bracer and try to get a secondary? Or should we try another time on the Glove and try to get a better one? I think we can probably get away without a secondary on the Bracer, that's fine. Okay, it's another Fist of Thunder, so that's the last shot now, right? Ooh, okay. We can actually roll the secondary. So we can actually just get physical rest on it. Okay, that's kind of nice. I just think we'll do a little more of this.
Down in the gate hall in the southwest area, there was a mysterious cube. I could click on. Did you see it? <laughs> I guess it was just a, um, you know, a little prop or something. Okay, we then does assault. So we have those two. Let's try again. Maybe get another ancient or two. That are good. You unlock the altar of rise, you need to unlock all three potion powers. Yeah, I need to do the entire altar, everything. And then you can get the double primers. My primer gloss is not a weapon. Because you need the same two weapons for both builds. And um in both cases, I was expecting to go Bracer. It's very hard to get a good Bracer for a POJ and even for a Raymond. I got lucky with the Raymond Bracer. I got this one here, which is kind of nice. But I never got lucky with the POJ Bracer, so I just made that one primal. Ah, oh, man. That's good damage, but then two shitty stats and knockback. Okay, maybe one more ancient, let's go. Hello, Patton. How are you? Yeah, I don't think there's any foreshadow on K squared. I would be surprised to see something like Kana's cube or Sword and Cold's cube or something. But who knows? They like cubes at Blizzard. Maybe you're gonna see a cube. Life braid again. <laughs> you have it on both weapons now if I use this one. I mean, this is kind of eh. This is even more eh. Like, either I use this one and just roll the damage range higher and we accept the vitality roll. And I think I would probably prefer the vitality roll over a second life per hit roll. And then you have attack speed and attack speed. Yeah, this is pretty minor. For POJ, that's a 3.5% damage increase. That's not very much. Like, area or something would be way better there. For Raymond, I guess the attacks we rolled is actually okay. Okay, let's tr try to craft our Guardian stuff. Do we want Vitality or Tempest Rush on it? I guess we're gonna go with Vitality actually. I don't think you're gonna be that tanky on POJ, I'm not sure. Shouldn't be bad at least. But we are still kinda of low paragon. Guardians helps, let's see. Let's craft 10. That's gonna be a nightmare, man. Holy. By making the item primary stay in luck on the uh, stats, of course. Okay, this is at least usable, I'd say. But I don't like 4.5 crits. So you have to get a helm, but you have to get a helm. Let's get a belt.
Okay, that's basically perfect. Can even just roll. Can roll freeze on hit. <laughs> or just roll higher dexterity. Okay, that's a pretty good belt. Belt is kind of easy to craft though. Okay, more helms, I guess. Let's try it. How many mats do we got? We have quite a bunch of mats. Okay, this one is pretty good. Kinda high rolls, poison res. Yeah, this is kind of low everything. This is fine. Bone spear faster than armies are dead? Yeah, I would say so. Alright. Let me see what we have in the guide here. Like how much cooldown and stuff that we go for. There's some Raymond and there's POJ. So the Raymond Planner. Okay, it's like the higher end variant, I guess. Does he have this explained here? Solo push. No, it doesn't explain the Guardian setup. We should go Guardian, I think. So you do Guardian this and okay, how much cooldown is this? Zero cooldown actually, not even a diamond. It's just attack speed. How much attack speed is it? One, two, it's like everywhere, I guess. I don't think you really need full attack speed everywhere anymore these days though. So you are probably okay. How much attack speed is this? Let's move to Flying Dragon. 2.74. So we could have to glove. We could do the unity as well, actually. We have five here. But we remove like one of the attack speeds here. Now, realistically, I don't want the attack speed on either of the two weapons. I think I'm going to try to reforge a bit more. We have 1,000 souls. Let me try to make one more ancient. Should I do better anymore? Okay, yeah, I've dug up some new things for you to take a look at. Very well. Got rank 9, finishing 125 with Warren Barb. <laughs> yeah, Barb is like a dead leaderboard for sure. I mean, most of the leaderboards are pretty dead, I guess, but. I wouldn't expect much from barbs this season. That grass with 125, man. I found out 60 souls, huh? Okay, we have to wait a little bit. Now, let's see the POJ guys. So, we have cooldown, one, two, only two cooldown rolls, and that's it. We can easily get one on our weapon, and then one on the Zodiac, and that's basically it. Okay, so we're actually kind of fine, but this is with Enchanter, so I guess we need three cooldown rolls if we play this on Hardcore with Templar. We don't have it on the glove. I could put it on the ring or the other weapon. Right, is this missing a stat here? Damage, 10%, area. 
For some reason, they're missing a stat in a plan. I'm going to open it. What did I? No, I think I removed it, right? No, mind. I removed the attack speed. Okay. Anyway. Mm hmm. Okay, let's roll our items a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have two chests here, okay. I guess we want. 40% life. We can't even get all rest actually, so we need 1% life there. And here, this will probably be a vitality. I want to see how those two items compare. As well as Tempest Rush, but we need more. What is C O L? Mean COE. Mm -hmm. I can get almost fifty more decks. Don't need pickup radius, so let's just do that. Convention of elements. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, you that's how you play a Palace of Justice. Every twenty seconds you do a boom on convention. So you want either twenty area or eight cooldown here. And then on another item we can decide which one we're gonna keep there. I don't know what Blizzard showed me for Season 4 Advanced a few months ago. Uh, well, they showed us basically the, the general concept. They also showed us some stuff that I had in mind that didn't actually make it into this patch. So that may actually come at a later point, or maybe they scrapped it. That was actually supposed to be another layer after Masterworking. So there's maybe something to look forward to. Uh, Shandong doesn't cycle. Shandong, you have full control over it. Nice. Okay. It's already rolled. Uh, we need to put this here for... Wait. We need to roll fire on this, right? So I actually need to make a DH or something to roll this bracer. Okay, what else? This thing. Uh, did a garden bird go here? The rim and chest. And we don't do this. I was wondering if it would be worth to replace Spirit Guards with the Guardian Bracer. Go Guardian Bracer and Belt instead. 
And then you can like, equip any random item we, we want. But it will probably just be the favorite anyway. This goes in the cube anyway. Unless we equip that thing, I can get something better here, but what would be a cube? It's not really any crazy weapons or something. So. Okay, we have to roll this thing. We have the travelers. We have the compass rose. It's just a socket. Convention though. I think that one is on a necro right now. Funny enough, you also have kind of the same CoE that I have on the necro right now here. Because somehow I ended up with the 15% life and I kept it. 6, 14, 7, 197. So it'll probably be better. Wanna get to 50 or 49. Plus the 200% affix. Okay. Zodiac. There are a lot of these. So he has 5.575. He has 5, 5.56. He has 5, 5, 8. He has 5.65. He has 6.4.57. This is kind of trash. Let's just get rid of this. Probably this. So I think I'm going to take this one here. 5 for tax paid, 5.5 crit, 7 cooldown. I think this is probably our ring. Oh, five give us ups. What is that? He feels stuck in 127 with Natalia. He rank 8 for seasonal hardcore. It probably just too squishy. If you are like low paragon, it's not a very tanky build. There's a lot of like uh, details in the push variant on the Maxwell guide as well that can, might help you. Let's get a bit more decks. The spontaneous rifts are full of mobs. Didn't expect that. You mean the visions? Yeah, they're pretty packed. Can we do... Okay, let's go for 15. Okay, let me see that. So you said seasonal hardcore here. Overall, this one, is that you? I mean, it seems like I have an okay setup here. I'm just kind of trash. Helm can be better with crits. Rest is actually looking somewhat acceptable, besides like no rolls here and there. I mean, the thing is that Natalia is just very difficult to play, like... Your gear is definitely enough to go way higher. You just need to play it properly. And fish maybe for some, you know, big or extreme maps or something. Is there a better mob type for pushing Rift? Yeah, there's some of the types that are significantly better than others. You have like a ranking in one of the Greater Rift Guides on Maxwell. Or the type of mark, uh, GRs, I think.
Uh, Herak Undershave here. Wait, did you answer this? Uh, did you ask the same question on YouTube earlier? Because I actually answered it. Okay, going for area on this one. You suck at using this set. Yeah, Natalia is really tough. Need some practice. Need the timing and, and so on. Need to learn how to pull stuff together and then how to nuke properly. And stay alive meanwhile. It's like overall a very delicate build. Mm, nice. Okay, so do we put a... It has Crippling Wave here. I think we mostly still attack with Crippling Wave, right? And the others are... Can we get an assimilation buff? And that's basically it, right? So do we roll Crippling Wave on this? Maybe not, actually. Probably won't do a tell you. To go back and <laughs> yeah, that was like five minutes ago or so, something Herak or longer even. Forgotten Souls visions. Using watchers and travelers and whirlwinds. That's a very strange decision, I gotta say. I just want to get crit here, right? Okay, we should do this on the other. Let's do this on the necro. It's only three elements there. Can do this one now. Yeah, first you have some damage reduction that instead of from two slots you can get from a single slot if you use unity ruler. So if you use like a, a movement build like whirlwind, there's no point to go endless walk because you can just get the entire effect from a, one ring instead of a ring and an amulet. Okay, this is fine here. Let's do this. Yeah, I'll keep the end. The end is okay, I guess. Okay. We don't need resource, I think. Fear crafting D3. Nah, it's not very really much to fear craft these days. <laughs> you know, there's not really any changes or any new stuff. I mean, the thing is, you can always like try to like min max some stuff a little bit, depending on like your exact character or what you're planning to do or something. Sometimes there's like a bit of stuff from the season themes. But I've seen all these season themes already, so most of the builds just kind of come back with similar setups. Okay, so I think you have almost everything rolled now. How many souls are left? 400. Actually, it doesn't look so bad. So we can roll this. Since we're going to start with the Rayman push, 
I can see if we can get away with area damage. Otherwise, we just go vitality, I guess. I think my score vitality. Uh, we still need to roll this, and we still need to roll the uh, bracer. Actually, where's the bracer? Here. This needs to go fire. So needs to go crit. Raymond can go to ripment very soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm not planning to rip my character, so let's see. I don't have them, nice to see you. Can I play with Spear, Stomp, and Focus Sight while having 5 flank HP? They're too squishy. Yeah, I mean, as I said, why don't you just go Unity? Like Unity instead of Endless Walk. Like when you're rolling around all the time anyway, then it does literally the same thing. And you get, get an emerald for free. Can I get equipped by Hellfire? I'm not even. If you want uh, extra defensive passive, for example. I'm going with Guardian, but no Defender, that's correct. Guardian gives me more. And gives me the damage. So we go Guardian plus Spirit Guards instead of Defender plus Spirit Guards. That's usually how you play it, I think. And Guardian is pretty powerful for defense. I think it should be fine. Copium. I did not have Varaman. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I want to get crit on this. Perhaps in the future, a company will revisit a game like they did 52 and do something. Very, very unlikely, I think, to be honest. I think the only reason I did that with D2 was because D4 wasn't out yet. And now D4 is out and D4 is gonna just like take all of the attention, produce all of the earnings. Like with D2 they actually managed to like, you know, feed out nostalgia and get something out of it. But with the 3 that's, you know, like, I mean, they would never re-release Diablo 3 Vanilla or something. Because <laughs> that was like, you know, the game that was like shit on the most back in the day. And then if they like start patching Diablo 3, that also won't happen because, you know, we're gonna have Diablo 4, we're gonna have Diablo 5, whatever. And then no one's ever gonna return to Diablo 3 in like a really big way, I guess. When those games are out, they were just gonna develop those games. I think this was a pretty unique event there with Diablo 2. Personally, love the free vanilla. Yeah, I also enjoyed it, but we are in a clear minority. So how was the grind? Any unexpected developments? No racks? Level? Bad luck? Ah, good luck and bad luck is kind of whatever in this game, you know. Uh, sometimes it goes a bit better than other times. But when you play enough, it always evens out. So it's not really a thing, I'd say. So yeah, so far so good. Do 
Dude, this fucking amulet actually costs me the most, yeah, it's crazy. The Elder Model now has a PP arena where you can do 1v1, that's cool. It's actually something I suggested, suggested to them, like, I don't know, like two and a half years ago or something when I played the beta. I was like, man, I really want to duel people. Like, why can I not do this? <laughs> it's good. good to see that I actually did that. Now they also need to introduce that in D4 and it'll be nice. You already have the training grounds in Kiowa Shard. You could make like some, you know, Kajistan arena or something where you can go and one v one your friends. Okay, funny. The four players that complain about grinding that don't know grinding from Pedro Diablo 2. <laughs> yeah, I think part of that is that, you know, gamers these days are a lot, little more spoiled. Games have been catering to like a more casual audience across the board. And also the people that used to play Diablo 2 are not the same people anymore. You know, they're like 25 years older now. And don't want to grind that much or can't grind that much. So I guess that also contributes to people crying about Diablo 4 grind compared to Diablo 2 grind. Oh, finally, man. Alright. So, I think we have pretty much everything rolled. COE, I guess. Okay, let me check if we have another one. Diablo 2 LOD 2001. Aware. Uh, look at the bright side, man. At least it was this millennium. Yeah, we still have to roll some stuff for our followers or so, as we just have to try to make a big Templar. Okay, I think, do we want cooldown, do we want area? No, oh, first of all, let's just take this. I think I rolled area on my POJ shoulder, right? No, let's cool down. Okay, so we want cool down. We have the zodiac. And we want one more item of cool down. So either the weapon or the ring. Let's see what we get first. Teen area. What does area on hit do? Uh, that is very complicated to explain. But it's a very powerful stat for pushing for most builds when you can group up enemies tightly. But uh, if you want to learn all the details, we have some 10 page write up on Maxwell. <laughs> Enjoy. So do I take the 8 now? This means I need to roll. Yeah, okay, let's do it. I mean, yeah, actually, it was kind of scuffed on this Necroman. Like, looking at this here. Looking at this here. Oof. Do I really want a time attack with this stuff? I guess so. I mean, tomorrow is probably the last day I'm going to play the free of the season, so. Sure, I guess. Alright, I think everything is rolled. Let's get the organs ready.
Well, actually, wait, how many keys do I have? I might have to do a little bit of keys, actually, as well as... We have... 192. Okay, that's actually not terrible. So, okay, we can work with that for now. Let me just... um. Put this, put this, and for Granger echoing in Geom. Let's just make a T16 setup here. I hear Frosty. I don't know if I'm playing no rest in an ad. Wait, what? In an ad? Uh, I will, I'll be playing no rest or awake at the end, but I'm not sure how much or so. I have not really much of an idea of the game. And apparently the early access is not even that large. It seems like there's only like the first chapter, whatever that means. I guess you can play it for like, you know, a few nights and that's probably it, I guess, in terms of content anyway. But we'll see. I mean, I don't know how big it is. I just saw like this roadmap they have or something for the game. And it's like this, the launch of early access, you know, and I don't know, it just says that they have like the first chapter in the game and stuff, but I don't know. Like last time in this demo that people played for like this one hour or one and a half hours or something, like apparently they only had like the first level, the first boss or something. And I guess there might be like, you know, maybe it's like 10 times larger than that now and you probably done after like 10, 20 hours or so. And okay, maybe do like another playthrough on a harder difficulty or another character. I guess there's like multiple ways to, to play the game. But yeah, it seems like a very much unfinished game on their website, so... Okay, let's leave the entire setup here. 267 souls, that's not that much actually. Sixteen thousand vitality, looks kinda good. So this one is minus six percent toughness. But it has a life region, but this life region is like so little. So yeah. Take this chest. So also 15. That was easy. You keep getting one shot on Necro, how do you survive pushing? Uh, vitality over 9000. What's the plan after the free season? Yeah, we're gonna play Torchlight this weekend and no rest of the weekends. And then... One week I'm gonna be on a little vacation and then it's like season four time basically. It's real early access, work in progress. Not like paid one hundred dollar for three days early access and still be in beta a year later. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean they are actually selling no rest of the wicket for like half of the AAA game price.
relatively cheap game. All right, so let's make the gems. Actually, we can take out some of these gems. For example. Well, do we need anything besides dexterity augments? No, right? We'll only do dexterity on all of them. So we convert everything to uh, green. Yeah, the German helmet is uh, not too important right now. We have an amethyst lying around. Okay. okay, so this. So we have rolled all of our rings. This is rolled. We have rolled the jewelry. We don't actually need any gems for anything really anymore. Unless I go back to using this ring on my necro and then I'll probably roll area damage at this point. Or we just use this one of the two. Okay, so 9, wait, 3, 9, 27, 81. We'll do 81 here. Okay, if you do another like this. We do 27 here. We can do 36. So we can do 9 and then convert 9 and 9. Okay, that's the last. Okay, same story. 3, 9, 27, 81. That's another three augments. Now we do 27. We can almost do it twice. I am not playing with Crimson because I'm gonna go Guardians. Oh, actually, that means I need to roll more cooldown, right? Totally forgot about that one. Let me double check this. True, he has only like two cooldown rolls, but he has Crimson as well, which is. Almost worth three cooldown rolls. So we have cooldown on our COE already. But it might. I, mean, I think we have it on the shoulder and the COE. But we probably have to put it on both weapons as well. Okay, yeah, we can handle it. Did I forget any item to cube and stuff? 
I have balance? Yes. Do I have one come now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Alright, what about this? Uh, A1. We need a few more Imperial Emeralds. Not very much. Okay, so what's, what's the status now? Let's see. So there's 27. This is uh, 9 augments. And this can be converted. That's 12 augments. Now comes the big one. So topasses. Not sixty two, fifty four, eighteen. So this is six augments. It's eighteen now. Wie soll man 20 Sekunden gehen auf Asmana für die Journey schaffen? Uh, die meisten Builds one-shotten alles in T16. Sobald du richtiges Gear hast. Ah oh shit, almost crafted this, yeah. Uh, we have to go emerald two times, let's go. There's a bug, he cannot achieve it. What? Wait, has no one done a season journey? Because of a bug? Maybe it counts to 20 seconds after entering the arena. After down, running down and the, the cutscene and stuff. Maybe if I was just fast at going there, it might work. Okay, I got a lot of rubies. Okay, how many how many augments is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then on Raymond twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I think I have enough. Okay. I guess we craft some rules for our uh, trusty Templar while we add it. Should be 20 seconds after entering the arena, I would guess, Luca. 
So just try to be very fast. I don't know. I've never heard of like a problem with this. Apparently the Asmodan season journey objective is buggy or something, someone says. Okay, we still need an amethyst here. Okay, make one. One, three, nine, twenty-seven. We need a few more Imperials. Oh, it's like a console bug, maybe? Hmm. Has Asmodan ever been an objective in any season like this? To get him too fast doesn't give you achievements. I mean, I have to wait, maybe, or what? Uh, the red gear is primals. These are perfectly rolled, like high rolled items. Be done. Okay, I have to roll cold here. Okay. How many for consoles? 260. It's like almost nothing. So I get a good damage roll. Not a bad start. Oh shit. I will not do that. It's pretty close. Uh, this is plus 13 and minus 9, there should be more. Right on time of 13. Oh, how far am I with the season journey? I've done it actually. So, where is it? Kill Azulan in level, in level 70, under 20 seconds on time of 13 difficulty. I have done this on time of 16. There's like no way I went down to time of 13 for this. I've done it. So, it seems it's fine. If you don't kill him instantly, it works. Okay, so maybe I was too slow. <laughs> I was slow enough. Okay. to make a Templar. A big Templar. Let's see what kind of good items we have on our Necro. So Necro don't care that much. I think that's good. This is kind of good. This... 
And everything else is irrelevant, I guess. So. So many 85 Oculus things. This one of attack speed, that's probably the best one. I think you have to make a barb to uh, craft some Templar gear as well. No, we need space. Do you want to delete Sepki? Mm -hmm. I think the death will add more world tiers in the future. I mean, they are also rebalancing the game a little bit, but they are in general, I think a World Tier 5 is kind of necessary. Not just because we get stronger, but just in general because there's a lot more progression to do at low 100, so that World Tier 4 just becomes obsolete. That's gonna straight up delete this entire character, I think. Zunimasa. Yeah, I don't think I have any plans to ever play this build again. Dude, I've 105k for consoles, by the way. <laughs> okay. 2.7... 2.9k keys. Alright. Sorry, Sepki. It's already postponed. Uh, yes, actually. I did download it, though. Earlier today. So, I'll probably try to squeeze in tomorrow. Before no rest, maybe? Actually, when does no rest go live? Wait. It's Wednesday now. So yeah, tomorrow is first day, so I can actually do it tomorrow, right? No rest is 18th, which is actually tomorrow. So for some reason, going live on the first day. Yeah, we have to see. Progress, yeah. Otherwise, I'll do it next week, I guess. Glorious. I think I was heading back to PoE soon. Yeah, I mean, it turns out that I made a second character in D3. So it's, it was either PoE or making a monk, I guess. But there's still time, I guess, before Season 4 started to do some more. PoE and kill off my hardcore character there. I wasn't really in a rush to go back anyway. But yeah, I still want to try to get to the Ubers. We'll see. Okay, let's craft a Crimson Belt. Yeah, playing from South Africa, ping is too high. Yeah, that sounds like not a good idea for Arco. <laughs> okay, we got this. I'll build up a fur and necro in the form. Uh Sever is my favorite, I'd say. I'm actually going to make another server Necro next season, I think. Going to try server with minions. Could be fun. Okay, we got this. We got this. 
And then they always crown. Here's one. What else? Put all cooldown on this. I do have the gems now. And this is end and crit. Okay, let's roll strength on this. Okay, one of these. Okay, one of these needs to run Unity. Unity Oculus, I guess. And the other one is gonna run. Actually, the same. I don't think I wanna do any shenanigans with. Crater's Flame. I mean, I play with Shandong on POJ. There's like no way that can go well, I think. So I guess we're just gonna keep the unity there. No Crater's Flame. Let's have my unities. This is it. Oh, great. I think I'll roll this thing actually. What is Oculus Ring? Uh, in this game, this is... It creates like a yellow circle on the ground and it kills something and it gives you a damage buff. I mean, Kuna, by the way. Have you not played Diablo 3 or what? Oh shit, I forgot the gems. Oh my god, the Guardian Helm Transformer. This was my last C3 season, you say this for a few years. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I guess he's gonna roll the strength. Should make it kind of easy. You want us to cool down or strength? You want us to attack speeds. The arrow ring needs topaz emeralds. Well, Yana is the weakest monk build right now. Uh, I think so, actually. Yana is kind of weak. Oh, eight cooldown. Nice. Trying to get seven attack speed him. The way I know my RNG, it will probably roll fifty crits first. Okay. I 
guess we roll this here to uh, go down. What can you do to survive with Tragul? A lot of people just went with Guardian Sand instead of the third weapon. So you can try that. Just keep bringing for a Granger and go Guardian set. Okay, we got a cooldown. Ancient flavors. Guess that's the only one. Okay, any gold skin? It's an Asian gold skin, but it has two sockets. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, what else is missing? This, this, this. Here's a storm shield. Well, we have to see how much strength we have, I think. Are we going to do a Blackthorn's meme push? Probably not, actually. No Blackthorn's meme push, I think, guys. So let's take the Blackthorn's for our Templar. And a glove. Now we do have a glove. Okay, I think we got everything. Yeah, full cane stain doesn't help us very much when we go push. Instead of dainties, no, I don't. Not gonna gain that much if we do this. But um, you don't have a bracer, so I can just go bracer and then like the guardian helm, where the dainty. Yeah, I think I was going to roll us with strength now, that's fine. Should have enough Ancients to hit the cap. And this is crit damage for my Templar. Okay. Alright. I think we're just does it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Uh, same as in your shield, actually. So I guess I don't have much of a choice besides... Just rolling this to cooldown or just want to strength. The fury is here. Here it is here. Okay, hit cooldown. Let's just hope we have enough. Need 25k on your follower. Okay, I have to be a transmog this fucking hell now. Holy. I get back in. Well, Mero, thanks for the uh, famous. Oh, shit. Okay, it's going a bit tight. And we forgot boots. Uh, I guess we make Ancient's boots real quick. Unity Elite buff working on followers. Uh, well, technically, I think the follower damage is affected by Elite damages. But that doesn't help you in any way. How can you buy this game? It's on Battle.net. Just got some random Kane's boots, I guess. We play LOD, would be tank it and Tragul. Uh, usually not really, but this season, yeah, I think. Like, LOD is, I think, both tankier and stronger than Tragul this season. Because of the cube stuff. Like, LOD doesn't really lose anything, but Tragul loses, like, Guardian set, and Metal of Channeling, and stuff like that. To get in all the weapons. And LOD just has everything that already runs anyway. Okay, I have everything now. And reason is the unity on follower is because one of the two builds I will be pushing runs a unity, and I just don't want to make a second ring for no reason on my other slot for the other build. So he's gonna equip the unity anyway. I usually put Kratos Flame there if you need resources, but you're playing Shenlongs and having Kratos Flame can kind of like mess with Shenlongs. Thank you. 
Okay, 21.5k, we're almost there. Okay. So one gem is, it's times two and a half, right? So it's 560, 680, 700. One gem is 700. So we need... Okay, we can actually get away with like three royals only, I think. Can we do it? Three, nine, twenty-seven, we can. Give him guardians. How's that gonna work? And we also need crimson. And Nemesis, and Glove, and the Leoric. I guess you could remove... I guess you could put Crimson Boots, and then remove the Leoric's Crown, but you have to go with the Leoric's Crown, and I don't want to do that. It actually is kind of helpful. Yeah, I guess it makes it a bit easier. But you also, we need to give up one ring then. In that case, you have to remove the unity. And for Raymond, we cannot because he run unity on that ring, on the build. Okay, time for augmentation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We actually have a lot of materials here to potentially craft, like upgrade rare or something. We could yodel a little bit and see if we get anything. Like rings, maybe. Uh, it's just a Shenlong left. How many of souls? We have 153 souls. <laughs> One last shot. Nah. That was like too much a shot in the dark. Let's just upgrade this. Okay. Let's do Raymond as well over here. Actually, we can save this POJ. Do you have any diamonds? Have some random diamonds. Actually, I've got the weapons there on the PJ. To remember that next time.
Damn. I think I might have a few too many, but let's see. What's the strongest potion and why? Cool aid, because nothing else can break Walla besides Raker Barbs. I mean, all the other potions kind of do nothing anyway. There's like some slight use case for the Life Boy Kill Potion on Shadow's Impale Demon Hunter. There's like another slight use case for the Resource Potion on something like a Bone Spear Necro where you don't have a generator. But it's like kind of minor. Okay. Everything's augmented besides the unity. And on my uh, POJ, everything besides the COE and the squirts. We have four gems left. Cool aid is useless now. No, it's not. It's still the best potion because you don't really care about walking through the walls. You care about pulling monsters together and not blocking projectiles. And uh, cool aid helps you with that. Is that a free guide for complete noobs on max roll? I don't think so. Like, we didn't make like some kind of a getting started post or something like that. Because our max roll started. Like, the free was already like 22 so seasons old, so. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Okay, how much vitality do we have? We have 14k vitality. I'm just gonna roll physical, physical rest on this. The attack speed will be helpful, I think. Can you play with other people like in D4? Uh, yeah, you can, but it's not like random like in D4. Like you have to actually invite people to your game in Diablo 3. And I'm also playing a mode called Solo Self Found, so I literally actually cannot group with anyone. The only access is going to be a minimum 15 hours if we ignore side objectives. Copium, but okay, let's see. Buy Unity on Templar, well, because it's kind of nice to uh, have two Unities instead of one, if it's in your build. Alright, so, me do this. Do we run Cyclone on this? We don't run Epiphany, right? He stays? Fuck. So, wait, what do we do? I guess we go Guardian's Path. We go Combination Strike. We go Seize. Do we go Seize? Maybe. Need Death Diggers. Need a Granger. I need a Flying Dragon. So it's basically non season builds. What? <laughs> oh, we have a. Dude, they, I forgot, man. They added the UI indicator for a Flying Dragon. They can get it by just talking to Hadrick, look. <laughs> Do we still have that clip here? Wait, Earth Ally. Ah shit. We don't have the clip anymore. But okay, I can just talk to an NPC and proc flying dragon. But 
Why is my dash so big? Like, why is it lighting up like this? What the hell? Oh, this is also new, I think. This is like when you have, I guess, the Raymond buff. Okay, interesting. I wonder if I get the same glow on my uh, generators, because that's kind of more important. So there's this dash thing, you dash around all the time anyway. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure why Norfi only has two generators here, and also no Guardian mention. Yeah, I like it here, that's kind of important. I guess no Guardians path then. So this is probably included here, right? The Lacrity. If I remove an Lacrity. No, this is not included here. It's just like a, gen a multiplier, right? Yes. Okay, but he want that. We do... We have the 100 fists. Assimilation. I guess we do blinding speed here. Here's agility, yeah? I don't think we don't want to do that. Can do this one as 15 additive. There's extra spirit. That's 14 to 20. Also the freeze. What are people running here? Let's check last season, I guess. Hey Tommy, yeah, it's a new season. Oh yeah, it's Pancake. So he was actually playing triple generator. No guardian, just switching hour. Kipling Rave Roll. Faith in the lights. Blind, interesting. He's running quickening. It's also going quickening. Radiance, implosion, agility. Seems like it's like a lot of like random choices that people do. That's the last slot there. This guy has only two and he's running serenity. What the hell? That's kind of bad. Non nation chest. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that Crimson is really the way anymore these days. They don't even run Epiphany necessarily. But it's good, it does. So it seems kind of, kind of like a shitty setup. This looks better here. Also has Crimson and Epiphany, but three generators and he has four set. Assimilation. Beacon. And Epiphany is nice and all, but I don't think I'm gonna go for it. Here's Mad Tom. Blind. Agility. I think we're gonna go for Mantra as well. Because I'm not even gonna go run the passive. Also runs four set. Kind of like it. I don't have much additive in this build. I'm going to force that. Now, do we need Cyclone Strike? We don't have the February. We don't actually need to run Cyclone necessarily. But I think you kind of want to. It's pretty powerful. Hello, I'll see Zera. This has implosion. This guy has serenity. Uh, in a sanctuary. In a sanctuary and epiphany, holy. Yeah, 
There's no cyclone. What about season 29? What about season theme? There's a cyclone, guardian. So it's basically the setup I'm doing. Exactly. There's harmony. And he did 141 in season 29. Okay, this is poor. So it's like the only good clear here. This was an 800 paragon cap. Roll the fist. Use esoteric and self trapped. Yeah, I might do the same actually. I think Psycho Strike is more important than Trapped even. Just pulling stuff together. We'll see how it feels. Okay. 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 So what is the third attack here? The kick. One, two, three. One, two, three. How long does it last? Ten seconds. Is there any buff for this? Ah oh, shit. There's not. Right? Wait. I just have to guess? Or what? Are you serious? Great. How long is this last? Okay, this is 10 seconds, so the timer is the same. And this is it's also 10 seconds. Yeah, okay, so we actually have the timer on each of these, as long as I go for the third combo. Which we technically don't need. At least on a boss, for example, I'm probably not going to go for the combo, actually. Uh, maybe on Foresight? If our attack does increase the damage of all your attacks, do we see it here? You can wear a double primal fist, yeah, but I only have one. Okay, so only if you actually hit targets, you get a 15%. Now we have the timer. Okay, so that's fine, actually. Punching. It's a gold fist. On the exit side. Ah, I think Raymond is good to go, guys. Attack speed right now is 202. And then with C's, let's see that. Ah, look, you found the set dungeon. <laughs> okay, 2.44 and 2.61. So we're gonna be slightly overcut on one weapon with Flying Dragon and slightly under with the other. Four. Okay. So I will try to do this with near-death experience instead of Guardian's Path. I'm gonna run Cycle Strike and Trapped. It might not feel very comfortable. Take me with you. 
said Dungeon Time, let's go, yeah. <laughs> Kind of funny, but I just casually walked into it. And it wasn't aware that it's here. Hmm. Now you're going for Turbo Generator, Guardian. There's uh, Spirit Guards here. I'll try to play with uh, Banish of Trath and see if that works out. If not, I'll probably switch it to Esoteric. I guess you have the option to either go Trapped plus Serenity or Trapped plus Inner Sanctuary and drop Cyclone or keep Cyclone and go Esoteric. Well, let's see if I can do both. Get ready for crushing disappointment? Uh, not really, I think. Let's see. I mean, even just standing here, I have 367 million toughness already. This is 918, and we have lots of healing in this build. And this is times 2 from the Unity, we have 1.8 billion toughness. This should actually be kind of okay. Eh? 1.8 billion is not terrible. So do we start like 140? What does Tealist say? Tealist says... Raymond Generator 149 at 5k. Let's try on a 40 and see what happens. Oh wait, I totally forgot about um, Frenzy Shrines. I think I have too much attack speed. Okay, resources are up all the time, easily, so that's good news. Okay, not an easy kill deletes. Let's keep trying, I guess. I'm not sure if it's such a good idea to play with the knockback thing here. Maybe I shouldn't, so I can like actually pull them on me all the time. A huge knockback. Having permanent CC immunity is pretty helpful, to be honest. It doesn't feel too squishy. I push more often actually for the bus. Now, to be honest, since these buffs last so long, it's not really as exciting as I hoped it would be. If I'm honest. But we are kind of like easily mowing our way through this. Just like somewhat uneventful. It's 
Gonna punish on go. Oh no, the missiles on the boss will be. Be kind of bad. I'm gonna kill this Yeta. Juggernauts. Yeah, so my ability is fine, actually. Doesn't feel really uh, dangerous. So far. Oh, never mind, we procced. Let's take a bite of him. Oh. Yeah. I keep trying this a bit more though. I'm pumping actually. Yeah, I think Psycho Psycho is really necessary. It's very important to get stuff into the Orca's Wings all the time.
Man, it's actually so nice to play this build without Epiphany. Like, I remember I really hated Epiphany in this build because it was constantly teleporting you in like the wrong places and stuff. Was extremely annoying. Okay, that's winnable actually. Nice corny somewhere. Boss fight is pretty fast, I think. Watch out for a pylon. See, so I have to go back and kill the other packs there. Uh, shield doesn't help as much right now. Okay, this guy's pretty high. Yeah, too bad. I probably should have cut them together here. We could have probably killed all of these packs in not much more time than this. So probably make use of the AS I can strike a little bit more if I can. You have Frenzy Shrine. I gotta finish any of the other guys. Not really, right? I kind of have to get uh, Connie very soon here, though. Alright. Good stuff, though. Ship Hunt is perfect for this. So that will give me the uh, boss spawn. Also nice blues here. Yeah. Get a power pile? I can probably do it without Connie. Yeah. Because I can decimate these blues and probably the boss in one go. If that's a speed. Okay, I think we leave. Would have been fun to see though. The power could have been enough there. Just do like another like one minute or so, almost get the blues and then click it and just kill the boss. So I have 200 points in my tower here, we probably don't need that. If we need a spirit though... Yeah, maybe i keep the 200 points there, it's fine. Okay, setup seems good. I'm actually kind of like, inclined to remove near-death experience. And what could we get? Guardian's path as defense. Oh, six stands as defense. But I guess I'd like to cheat death more than that. There's also resolve, which is not bad. So it's determination, which is not bad. Okay, I think it's gonna go exactly with the setup now, and this is gonna be... Uh, well, let's do like 140. We can actually go a bit higher. We can try 142 or so. I have Death Diggers, man. Yeah. 
And if you want to do like a 100 plus key push, you're going to get like 3, 4 Oryx. An Oryx and a Colony. And boss fight is like probably sub 2 minutes easily, I think. On a single target boss. We should have relatively decent single target damage, I think. Change the knockback rune. Yeah, it's kind of nice though. 15% damage. I don't think it's it really like hurt me that much to have the knockback there. And the 15% damage. Okay, sometimes I have like 20 stacks of assimilations, like 100% damage. I did roll like very defensive stuff here. Mostly on the boss I will suffer, I guess. Let me see a little bit. Like, how many stacks did I have there on average? It's also like relatively decent monster types, I guess, with the zombie grotesque. So he's like 14 stacks, 9 stacks, 14 stacks, 9 stacks, 11, 4, 3, 8, 19, 23, 9, 6, 2, 12, 9, 7, 9. Okay, so I guess like in on the average is something like around 10 or so stacks of assimilation. It's actually not that crazy. So maybe I should actually roll. I probably should have not rolled the decks higher here. Go with wave down of it. Because you're mostly just like doing crippling wave here for damage. And maybe I should get it anyway. Okay, what could I do if I remove Trapped? 60% multiplier. But I could, for example, do two rolls here for 30% additive. How much additive is this that we have here? So let's say 50 stacks on uh, 10 stacks on average is 50. And then 15 from the Dead of Reach. And this is it, right? We don't have anything else. Sometimes I get a 10% damage down from the Templar, but let's just ignore that. I don't think I have any other out of buff here. These are multipliers. This is a multiplier. This is attack speed. Yeah, so this is it actually. So I have 65 additive. Sun is a bit more. So if we go 180 instead of 165, still a 9% damage buff. If I have like a single target situation, I will have only 20, so I'll do 135 instead of 120. It's a 12.5 buff. It's quite a lot. So maybe I go Ezo, so trapped. Let me roll this and this. You just make a new belt, I guess, and roll off the maybe 15% damage, 15% life or the all rest. Yeah, we can actually make a belt here that has a secondary res and life. I should probably do that actually. That was kind of a mistake here. At the minimum, we should, we should do this at, at the minimum. And this is 1.3k vitality. So even if I take 200 points out and put it here, we're not going to lose that much. We're going to lose like less than 4% damage, but again, like around 10. Yeah, we should probably do that. Do we have more gems? Need to make a uh, emerald. Okay, we need two, six, eighteen. Okay, what can we do? Hello, you again. I'm good. How about you, man? Nice to see you. Why int on ring? Because no one gave me a better one. Need Chaco. 
for the all stats. Let's go. All right, Guardian build, uh, built here. Let's go. So I guess I was just I will use this one anyway for uh, uh, POJ push, but for Raymond, if you wanna get something that has secondary, let's see if I can get one with secondary fizz rest. I'll be big. So as armor, nah. This one has also armor. Nah, armor is not good enough. We have so much armor, man, with 20k, 28k decks, so... We want a life percent and uh, secondary res roll. How many crafts can we make? Quite a lot. It's another like this. No. I actually have quite little bounty mats. <laughs> didn't do that many visions, turns out. How do you have care of all mods? Well, I mean, golden packs and visions, and just like rift farming and stuff. I didn't really spend any mods besides like right at the start, upgrading rares a little bit and stuff. I farmed on this monk for like 15 plus hours. Yeah, crafting such a Guardian build is kind of tough, though. Holy. Yeah, Soul Stars will be a thing again, and that's like one of the rotating themes. There's so many good belts here with Auras and stuff. Here's one of Fizzras armor. Damn it. I think I really want life percent. Can we compare one that has life percent versus one that has armor? I don't even have one that has life percent, man. But it's also physical rest, which is kind of nice. He has also physical rest. This might actually be something to keep in case I want to play any kind of like int build. How was that? A huge one for uh, int classes. That's a lot of crafts, man. Kind of glad I have uh, the bounty mats from Wizards. Okay, here's one. That's Crippling Wave and Lightning Res. Pretty high rolls of everything. So I could go 5% life or could go and re remove the Lightning Res for Fizz. Lightning is not bad though. I'll take that. So let's see the difference between Armor and this. That's probably pretty significant. This is minus 9.4 toughness. I should probably equip it and see. 335. 
And we have this here. 314. Oh boy. It's like minus 20 million. It's like 7% difference or so. And it's not even like a high roll on his life. Like his armor does literally nothing, man. Ninety-two point twenty-two, ninety-two point fifteen. Nah, no, it's like almost nothing. We have forty k armor, so that fist resto, eighty-three point ninety-three, eighty-five point forty-two. So this is go from sixteen to fourteen point six. It's like eight percent, nine percent less on fist rest. It's kind of noticeable. But yeah, percent armor wins. Let's go with this one. We could craft more and hope for one that has physical res, but I think this is close enough. Okay, I'm gonna roll this off as well. Get crippling wave. Perfect mentality roll. Final damage modifier for primary. I just made the build here. We just did like one test run here. Talking about Guardian, just did a sub 10 minutes, Tranquil, Guardian, Necroran, tried to see Evo version of Esoteric, it was so squishy. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be more squishy if we do this, but it's gonna be more damage. And the thing is that with like how fast you gain Paragons these days, you're gonna, you know, outclass Guardians pretty quickly these days as well, unless you really don't farm Paragons. I mean, yeah, okay, if you're like chilling at 1600 or whatever Paragons, Guardian is pretty powerful at that point. But, you know, for people that kind of like play the game, they're gonna phase out Guardian pretty fast as well. And it's still quite a significant damage loss. I mean, you give up which item? I guess Ralina, right? And Ralina, even without any other supporting items, if you just have like Essence on your weapon and offhand, if you get like 280 Essence or something, or 240, so you get like 120 or 140 percent damage buff from Ralina over Guardians giving you probably like 60-70% optimistically. Which is kind of comparable to like the trapped. I guess you get in trapped as well if you go on a, not even trapped, you have trapped anyway. You get like Zays, I guess. The thing is that using Esoteric on a Nova build is not even like a huge loss. You give up Zays, which is like between 15-30% to 30 damage. It's not that much. Yeah, if you had 700 Paragons already, you're slowly getting to the point where, you know, like a few hundred more Gaunts and then Guardians is kind of like whatever. Okay, let's do it. Do we save any of these other builds? We definitely need to save uh, the augmented one here for P or J. This is going to be my P or J build. Anything else you want to save, potentially? Good here. Got all of these belts. Yeah, it's still 2.6 billion toughness, man. It's not terrible. You gotta be a bit careful, but do not like complete glass cannon. And then sometimes I can activate my mantra as well.
Okay, what could I get if I do another passive here? We could do determination, which is probably nearly one tier of damage actually. Even with assimilation in the build. It's kinda nice. But I think I want to go with a double cheat death here. It'll just help us out to like increase the consistency of our clears. Do we have any area? Do we want to go area instead of hotel on a weapon? We would have we probably have to compensate, so it's like two thousand dexterity minus two thousand mortality again from paragons. Two thousand dexterity is like eight percent, seven eight roughly. Our area is eighty eight, which is not terrible. We have it here and here. I will try area. I get free page and storage. You have to do a season journey. Okay, do we do 142? Let's try 142. We have a little more damage now. This is a very dangerous monster type. Let's see how does we feel. If we can survive this, then we are fine. But it's a very dangerous one. It's fine when I have flying, flying Dragon up, but sometimes it doesn't proc and then my healing goes down. Well, but we are progressing, yeah. And we have Frenzy now, let's go. Frenzy early is nice. We also get protection at some point. Hopefully. We keep getting frenzy all the time. <laughs> okay, I think I can outplay the knockback a little bit now. If you just like kind of like try to hit the knockback on something that's like far away from the rest, it's fine. You can do that. Okay, you kind of forward. Do the frenzy four times in a row now, or five times. It's kind of funny. Okay, now that I get the hang of it, it's actually more fun.
Is this a nice blue? Let's go. Uh, no. Fighting my Templar. My monster is almost full, man. Oof. Okay, Halfway 2 shouldn't be too crazy actually for this. I have a guide for the inner water character. Uh, I mean, I have some old videos, but you should probably just check out the AMX or guide. But yeah, I can search my name and inner, find some stuff there. Really, Bull wants you bad. I want him to. He should follow me. We're trying to like fall, like make them follow so that we can like slowly kill them. But you know, most importantly, we want to try to kill like maybe a few small packs and then get a big colony somewhere. Also, I get diamonds. Uh, Broken Crown on your follower, and then run rifts of oh, Forgotten Packs. Uh, also, Puzzle Rings gives you a lot when you have any. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this is that's pretty good. Okay. Let's see if we can find a pack here somewhere. Here's a nice little blue, and yellow, and some stuff, and some mothers. Okay. This might be very dangerous, so holy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Holy, holy. These guys hurt. Fucking lacunis. Yeah, I don't think I can survive this. We also have the uh, ghosts here siphoning us. Fuck. Oh, you're making a pretty juicy pull, at least. So that's that. Need to come back with a shield or something. Shield on this map would be pretty helpful, actually. You could definitely make use of us. Oh, that's too much stuff here. Uh, let's try to find a better spot here to make progression. There's more mothers. Ooh, so many mothers, man. Holy, this is a really good drift, man. You can probably one floor this if you get caught here or something. But I don't think I can, man. This one step is rough. It's not what I signed up for. If you have protection, we get okay. We just got protection that will help us, and there's a speed F. One point I don't really want, not channeling either. Man, that should have been a shield, that would have been a very helpful one.
again. Need a frenzy. Okay, we got a frenzy as well. We have frenzy protection, so those are the most important shrines at least. now as well, that's really bad. And we barely have any final spawners left either. We got the speed very early, so we can maybe make use of it. We got all stuff pretty prepared here. If you get a colony, we can clean up the entire map. We get to like 80% or something. Okay, it should be time for a second planet soon. Any juicy pole? Destroyed all those pine spawns there. Yeah. Well, we can come back, I guess. With the colony. But everything's really spread out, so it's probably not gonna work out here. Yeah, this speed here was kind of sad. I need to be something else. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now this is soul liquors. I'm not sure if we should try to kill the new packs. I'll just go back and clean up. Most of the packs that are actually pretty healthy as well though.
Oh shit, there's like yetis right on a pylon. Have to move them. Or we can't click. I'm just falling behind here. I'm not even damaged to the blues. It's very sad. Okay, I think we're gonna kill those two and go back. Let's hope for the best. Should have all right here. Uh, let's ignore the yellow. Should just go with the shielding. Ah, uh, okay. I should have just gone back immediately. I think this was kind of bad trying to do something. There's so much stuff here that I will not finish. They're all juggernauts. Everything is a fucking juggernaut here. Okay, yellow. Here we go. That's the power. The yellow. Maybe I should use the power to spawn. This is probably the better play. Long time to eat for this whole stuff here. Can okay, you keep some Oculus rings alive? This guy's a teleporter. Oh shit. And you can list one of the two packs, I think. Okay, two minutes should be probably a clear. Unless he kills me. Let's see. This will be very tight. We're going to seize the initiative as well. Like a nice uh, purple ring or something. At the end. I have two more potions. Well, we don't have Shenlongs now. Uh, I guess we probably want to keep a pile around so we have seize the initiative at the end. It will help a lot with the uptime of our Flying Dragon and our buffs. The Shenlong. Two minutes is not enough. I probably 
do have capped attack space. Looks like we need more like two and a half minutes. A lot of fireballs going. It's more like three minutes here for single targets. But we are very unlucky, not a single ring. Hmm, should I increase the tier? Like the comedy wasn't that great. The power wasn't great either. Maybe you could have actually done this with like better power pylon timing. I had just taken it in like the last minute and just kind of like spawn the boss and kill it with it. We would have like three minutes to kill the yellow. Only one yellow, which would have been okay. Because like I was going for the double yellow kill, but you got so much progression, like I had too much basically. I didn't even kill the other yellow. Maybe try the 142 and do that first, and then we'll see. Yo, oh, when? Hey, thanks for the seven months, man. Yeah, POJ push is ready, but I want to do the Raymond first and then override it with the POJ. Although it's getting kind of close. I kind of 42 was is what I was expecting to do with POJ, but maybe we can go higher on POJ after all. Maybe we're going to go closer to 150 after all on the Monk. Yeah, this... Uh, We had the speed pilot in the Lakuni map, right? That was really bad, man. If that was a shield, that would have been an easy clear, I guess. Because I had to play so carefully in this Lakuni map. If I had just two minutes of like, standing there and blasting down stuff, and then kind of like, stack up all the elites, come back with the colony from floor 2, I could have killed like six elites there, and boom, that's it. So, that was a bit sad. Let's see if we get like a good fast ring or something, otherwise an Oryx. And then you know the best approach on when we start a run. I did get Frenzy and Protection pretty early though, which is pretty helpful. Are you still alive on Raymond? I have Guardian set and Spirit Guards. You can also include an Esoteric if you need. Let's speed them in other builds. Uh, let's do your god.
Hmm. That could be Org Stream, and Org Stream is just better. It's kind of weird that they made Org Stream Shroud Moors better than normal Shroud Moors. Like, why? I would actually like to try this. But it's just significantly worse than in Org Stream, in that map in particular. Ah, here we go. Okay, we got a Frenzy. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this monster type very much because of the Berserkers, but let's see how it goes. Probably a bit scary though, I think. Twenty-eight stacks, so we get a lot of assimilation stacks on this. Which is kinda nice. Oh. Another frenzy. Oh, we can actually skip stuff. I should use that a bit more, maybe. Just like skip stuff like this. We have really fast. In all extreme. Ouch, holy. Oh, they have like arcane beams as well, fuck. I wanna finish this though. There's a lot more stuff. That's a lot of packs, man. Do you want my protection, man? Please. Nice, you got it. Okay. It's blocked pilots here. And we can do floor two with a bunch of progression. That's good. It's a pretty good start here. We also have blue berserkers there. Most of the stuff actually followed me. Okay, let's just go. We can always our time here. Is there a pylon? There's no pylon. I don't really want to do this monster type, I think, but there's many assimilation stacks and fairly safe, I guess. Swarm, okay. Still no pile on though. Unless we missed one. I don't think so.
eight on the phone. It's going to take us. Is this the exit? That's the exit. I want to get a bit more on this map though. Fifty four stacks, let's go. <laughs> Oof. I'm only sheet that looks good. Oh, there's buggets there. You can maybe kill them. Blue buggets is killable, I think. Uh, not enough trash for that, I think. Where we go? Okay, Ooh, dangerous. Fine juggernaut, I don't think I want that. Let's go for trash. Let's hope for the best. a nice trash ball. It's got a corny somewhere and we spawn basically. Next stack two few minutes. I have around two minutes to get a corny, so it's probably second final time. Here's a condi. Here's a blue. Let's see if we find some other pack. We could also go back honestly. Yeah, we're like two or half that blues. They die pretty fast. If you have like 20 seconds of corny left, you could do that. Finish them. I think I'm waiting too long. So I guess nothing else here. I have to get this yellow though. It's a chuck. Baller. Wonderful. 
Also a duck. Get another pine on. Yeah, I'll save it. The ducks again. Okay, that's kind of funny. Well, I guess we do this one. Last time we killed him in pretty much exactly three minutes. This time we have three and a half, and we were kind of unlucky last time. Gonna maybe click the channeling at the end, if we can get him there. So we have extra targets, maybe it's Illu and we get Oculus. If I feel like my channeling is dropping all the time, I'll do it. I'll keep dodging his fireballs. I'm kind of curious to see how it will be with the uh, island pack. But it's actually probably not better. And I have flying dragon up and capped. It's actually a much faster kill. On 22 left. I think I might try under 44. Like two tiers up. It's still quite manageable, I think. Surround doesn't look the, the craziest. I can almost level our simplicity, actually. 8%. Hmm. Should we try? Why not? Maybe get lucky. Agnanox, we go again. There seems to be a faster Agnanox kill. I think I had three and a half minutes left. Oh, 1337. Mm, do I want to alright this? <laughs> Unless he's the keys. It's kind of funny that it's like rank one overall monk. With Raymond. Who would have thought about that? Yeah, POJ should go higher than this a little bit. So I guess you can try something like kind of 45 plus. Like even here, I think if I try this for like a few more hours, I could do it at 144. This, this clear was basically 143 with this time. One and a half minutes left is like roughly plus one. And uh, the rift wasn't that crazy. I had to play very carefully in floor one, but he did get some decent progression there. Then we had a Vile Storm, which was kind of okay. And then you had the the Lacuni Slashers, which is 
also okay, but it's not like the best. Like Vice one is definitely better, for example, or like even the zombie grotesque is better than that, or like the Skelly Summoner combo is pretty good, I think. It's probably all better than like this like Cooney Slasher stuff, and the corny wasn't crazy either. I killed like two yellows and a blue, a bunch of trash. Which, you know, did the, the job, but it wasn't crazy, I think, at all. Maybe I should leave this there, it's gonna... <laughs> I mean, you can do a POJ push and see how it goes. Like, I'm just gonna maybe roll this to cooldown, and that's about it. And the rest is just gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it here. It's fun, though. Like, I really like this triple generator stuff. Like, once you understand how to do it, it's actually a pretty fun build. I like it. How's this? Okay, what is, what is the rest here? 133. No one is playing Monkman, holy. Look at this. <laughs> okay. 50 tiers, guys. Rank 1 at 30 and 37 goes crazy hard. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe I'll come back to Raymond, maybe not. You can just do the 30 and 37 on 144. Actually, uh, how is this overall? Leaderboards. I'm kind of curious. For the monks. Why is this constantly popping up, man? I have my... It's not, it's not signing me in. Yeah. Okay, I need to check that later. Okay, anyway. Monk. Wait, this is season 31? Wait. Why does it show four, man? Huh. Wait, this is actually... Overall rank 1 monk, man. Raymond. <laughs> I'm faster than this guy. Uh, did you, What did he play? Did he play POJ? Seems like it's POJ. No, it's not. It's like I started updating, actually, the website right now. What is it? I think I bugged it out. Okay, it's a panel. Yeah, it's Panels of Justice. So he's doing Panels of Justice. What about SSF? Is there any SSF guy? No. So I actually just cleared overall rank 1 monk in season 31 on SSF Hardcore with Raymond. Dead game, guys. <laughs> well, time for PSJ, let's see. Yeah, if I had like, you know, if I was playing the season a bit longer and I would do like some really big push, I would actually like to do like some 5 final key push or something on this for a few evenings. We could probably go all the way to like 145 even with Raymond right now for like a really good rift. There you go, Tagok. Alright, so...
Good old Thousand Key pushes. Yeah. I mean, Thousand Key pushes are kind of rare anyway in Biff or Extremes and stuff. You basically just like, you know, even if like, you know, your first or like two, three all dreams like don't really run well and you yeah, don't have a conduit or something. If you just go for Oryx Dreams, it doesn't take that long actually. And even like in Arcana Keys, you get four Oryx. In two Arcana Keys, you get eight Oryx. You know, it's like very likely you're gonna get at least a few good runs there with a corny or two, like you know, two or three corny spawns, and eventually you're gonna get something decent. And of course, you can push the RNG higher every time a little bit. But yeah, got some cooldown right now. You have 29 cooldown. POJ, what do we have in the planner here? Probably more like 40, 50. This has 57 cooldown actually with Enchantress. One roll there. Okay, we have very low cooldown. But first of all, we're missing the gem. Oh, we're missing this, this. Hello. Hello. What's up? Where are you going? Yeah, I can hear something. Okay, guys, need your FK BRB. You need something? Can't be back, boys. Ain't streaming a Turbo Hut. Isn't Turbo Hut like shut down? I think people use something else these days. 
But I mean, for like the last like seven years or so, I've been streaming with monitor capture, so you can see exactly what's on the screen. All right, um, we don't need second strike, so we need tempest rush, flurry. It's not shut down. Okay, there's Chinese version. Yeah. Monkai ass dude. <laughs> Okay, I guess we do Serenity. It goes here. Uh, we need a Mantra. We're probably gonna need to the same Mantra, right? We need Sweeping Winds. Cube, yeah, we have to change this up a little bit. One come now. Balance. Okay. So we're gonna be... I think we're going to be okay, actually, on Toughness. We get 50% damage reduction. We're going to have Epiphany most of the time. Actually, almost all the time, I think. So we can Desert Shroud there. We need the Blind. Faith in the Lights. You can zoom out and shit. Yeah, I know about that stuff. There's like some really crazy hacks these days. Not just a zoom out, there's like even more stuff. People are actually like hacking the game. It's kind of crazy. Even on PC. Okay, cooldown is 38, which is still kind of awful. I think we're going to roll our weapon here to cooldown. Forty-four. Is there any more I could I could get? Not with my items I have. We have here. We have here. Here. So I would need to make another weapon or roll another weapon if I really want to get cooldown. But yeah, I don't really want so. Do we go for maximum spirits? Uh, might be kind of convenient actually with the Shenlong. This might help me sometimes. So let's go. Let's go full decks. If 13k vitality, this is fine. Balance, one can allow. Okay, I think this is it, right? Dirty, sleeping wind, definite light, and that's out. Okay, the passives, so we go beacon. Ah, I forgot beacon actually. 55 cooldowns, so that's pretty much what we have in the planner. 20, 57, okay. Let's see how that goes. Kind of guardians, this has harmony, guardian. I'm gonna keep my HE death there, I think. Okay, we're saving when do we have him? Also resources. Resources is slowly going up. I'm gonna go for this one, so it's easier to see when it's up or down. So you can see the effect of every rune, move speed is increased by 5% of each for each stack. So we get 15% right, so we have 3 stacks. 50% damage reduction, 50 spirit region, and the damage. Okay.
Anna 45? Let's try it. How's my toughness? 760. 1.5 bill. 1.6, 1.7. Okay. Hello again. Nice to see you. Why do you grace us with your presence? Why do you grace us with your presence? To be checked. To be checked. Out. Mm -hmm. Nini is uh, packing for our little vacation. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing you my dresses. <laughs> Next week we're going to go to Istanbul for a few days. You're shy now. Mm. Why? Um, you like this one? Are you going to see some pictures in the selfish channel? Mm. Okay. Post get, get ready, guys. Or, um, spam. Ah, spam. Spam away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you mean Constantinople? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We actually watched a nice series about the downfall of Constantinople. It was very fun. Like um, some history, doku, Girl drama. When? GF reveal. Well, Wife. that's how I can do it. It's looking a little weird. <laughs> oh, hello. I haven't played Hades yet, but I want to try it at some point. Is there a speed variant of roughness? Ah, uh, kind of, yeah. I think it's in a guide, but it's basically just the same build, and you try to stack as much cooldown as possible and go crimson. And I think you can try to get like a steward's grease in there. Yeah, you could probably try that, but it's generally a kind of slow face build. Well, someone lives in Istanbul and wants to have coffee with us. Uh -huh. Turkish? Merhaba. <laughs> Imagine not using her to Z-Bob rifts. You want a Z-Bob for us? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't like z builds. Maybe z neck from time to time. Okay, so some people told me there's like some weird bugs and stuff going on with the uh, Tempest Rush. So let's figure out what's going on here. Wait, my Shenong is not activating properly. I guess that works. Turkish coffee, of course, with Dijo. Mm -hmm. You like Turkish coffee? Uh, it's the same one. We we drink in Greece. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. Holy crap, is Nini hot? Can confirm, guys. Z neck with HUD. Um, nope. Yeah, HUD in 2024, man. But he has a Z neck, you kinda need to have it. Or else you're gonna get kicked. That's how it works. Oh, thank you for the wishes. Okay, the pops are pretty minor right now. Oof. Random cat lover, are you with Turkish? Or just live in Istanbul? You are My god, my heel. Need more. Merhaba. 
We will be staying in Sultan Ahmed. So if you want to have coffee, you can message Woody in Discord. Two million life, man. Okay, let's go a little bit lower. Maybe we're gonna try 143 instead of 145. Should be significantly easier. But okay, so far no bugs detected, at least. He's Turkish, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe you can meet. Good chance for me to practice my Turkish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And be yeah, Nini, Nini has actually studied a bit of Turkish at some point. I wish you luck, hero. It's so damn hard, it was 27 Celsius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm counting on it. <laughs> it's kind of funny because it's not that far away, it's like a few hundred kilometers. Well, it's very hot in here too. What do you yeah, mean? I mean, okay, now it has been like spring, yeah. Yeah, the same in Turkey. So last week they had like 20, 22 to 20, like us here in Athens. It's just getting higher now. Shandong's train so fast that the tempest is going on. I mean, if you have maximum spirit here and here, it's much easier. And also in the Paragons, I have 328. So you have like a five second window to pop it or so. I just try to get to full during the physical cycle and then go boom on the cold. And you get a bit into the uh, muscle memory, I guess. Also, you need to change something here. Yeah? I like these pearls. What's your early opinions on PoE? Yeah, early, early opinions on PoE too. Well, I didn't get to play it yet, but uh, I'm very excited for it. It looks really cool. I like difficult games. Ah, uh, things will be changing. I think it'll be very fun when uh, when the time comes. Yikes! Uh, Yikes! No. Wait a minute. Let's do this. Why don't you put the same ones? I it do. It's very bad. Not the blue. Do something about the boots. Fashion time with Woody. <laughs> well, it's more uh, Turkish, yeah. Mahaba. Meraba. Where? Yeah, from Birif. Meraba Nasselson. Means how do you do? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have guessed. Mm. Now repeat it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're going to say. Send us a suit. Bend in. <laughs> you want to sit maybe a little bit or what? No, we're going to try the next one. Mm. Goodbye, Nini. <laughs> burger as a weapon. Do I have to burger? Wait, does it work on fist weapons? I'll show you. It's a dagger. I don't think it can transform to dagger. Why not, actually? That's just fist weapons. Your power. He thought you were watching the stream in slow motion. Because of pure jade, it's like rushing. I mean, that's how the build works. It's just Tempest Rush. Okay. 
It's nice a little bit, yeah. So I'll try to do some squirts pops, I guess. We can. Ah. Could have had full squirts here, but uh, something hit me. Oh! Okay, this one didn't work. Wait, did my blind not go off? Oh shit, I activated my Shenlong somehow. F. Okay, small map anyway. Okay, defense seems good though. So that's nice at least. I would have liked more air damage we have. 50, we have no air damage, man. Holy. That's kind of bad. So I think this will be kind of tough, actually, because you just like... So I'm, I'm going to try to roll air damage again on the weapon. I think we don't really need to cool down there. We don't spam Serenity that much. This one air damage roll would be quite helpful, I think. It's going to be less quality of life, but it should be fun. Yo, Bassett, hello. Been training all week. Oh, that's a good feeling though, no? Why Necrol LD Nova lost damage sometime, then after some time it's back for some mobs? That's a question. Uh, I mean, maybe you're fighting a Juggernaut, and you don't get a Crispin. Maybe you're not timing your news correctly with Crispin and... Oh, and COE and stuff like that, for example. Alright, let's see. Shit. Stuff there. Okay, let's see if I can do this arcs. Man, it's actually very complicated to play this now because of the altar giving you sp spirit on crit. <laughs> it makes it like super inconsistent, man. Like I, I tempest rush into a big pack there, and I gotta be so careful, man.
And we can also keep up our Shenlongs quite easily, I suppose, but yeah. Nice of, uh, oh, oh, didn't get out here. Got boomed. This is a blue, almost dead. Kind of looks like it. Maybe it's something else, though. There's a pylon. Power. Uh, I mean, we have a good boss kill. I can just use it and just do some pops, I think. Not really a reason to come back, I think. Unless we complete this in the next floor. I think. I wonder if we can actually kill one of these packs. It seems a bit optimistic. The purple circles are pretty cool now as well sometimes. I can kill this blue pack here, I think. Yeah, so it has to get me every time I need to uh, boss move out of that. Because my Phantom Sarge stops and then boom. Alright, I can't and we win actually, so that's that. It's kind of a problem.
Oh. Got the overlap, man. I didn't hit that much, unfortunately, but these guys are almost dead. That's probably like a once in my lifetime occurrence on this build. Ah, uh, shit, we don't have Shannon. Hmm, somehow I didn't do a pop. Still no county. See something? Uh, well, it's not over, I guess. At least. Can I press it, please? I pull the things exactly on the pylon. Okay. I have squirts now. So this is a corny would spawn right on a spot, and this would actually be like a 12 minute clear. Peanut explosion. Oh, that's a weak. With full squirts, what the hell? What? Something's wrong. This is more like it. Maybe this was the bug actually that I encountered there. It's kind of sad when you have a shield. Okay, we are gonna kill this um, blue uh, scattered beast pack actually. about the skellies. There's some skellies. I can almost lose if I uh, can't be, actually. We might. <laughs> With the power, we might, actually. Those yellows anymore. I'm not sure if we have all the blues. If not, this is probably not happening. Can't tell. Yeah, I would actually just spawn if I killed one of the yellows, pretty much. So let's go for the Golgar. Not 
should try to go for another pile on that as well. Okay, two and a half minutes. Might actually work. And this is Arathon, which is now nerfed, right? We should be fine. That's hurt. Oh. I'm not getting enough resources, dude. Okay. <laughs> Pretty juicy. It was a no county run. Boss is really fast. It's a Shandong. So now you should go 145 after all. Like, probably higher even. Could get really close to 150 even already, I think, with this. With like a juicy county and stuff. Like, this monster type is okay. We had it twice in a row with like slashers. But it was nothing crazy, and I lost one blue here, like half dead somewhere on the way. The shield, I had like two pops that did nothing. The power was really terrible. Well, I guess... It was 143, right? 15%, oh, let's go. The damage thing was insane. Yeah, this is just a boom. Like, on the boss, you do a lot of extra damage as well because you get 100% crit against three of your enemies. So, you do roughly double damage on the boss, I guess, compared to normal. And then, like, on a boss like this, I think uh, once or twice I also had 10 squirt stacks, which I usually don't get. So, it's like it's pretty big pops. Thanks, Simok, for the Prime, by the way. Okay, I guess we're gonna try on 45 then. With power and boss, you probably don't need to stick on 145. <laughs> Actually, it's not that unlikely that you could even do 150 later with a power on the boss. But, yeah. I mean, which other gem can we get? I guess Zaze or something, or even Powerful. I guess if you do like 150 time attack with like 5k Paragon, Powerful might actually be the best chef. <laughs> That's the third one. So yeah, that, that could actually happen. Would be 33 over the 4. Uh, no. Yeah, there was no Conde in Onimers. Okay, how many keys do we have? 138. So we did the uh, 142 Raymond and the 143 POJ now in like 60 keys or so. They said they have a coin there. Coin is relatively big on this build because we can quite easily just drag all the elites through the rift. You don't really lose much time building the conduit. And usually you have like half dead elites so they can just finish off. So coin is very big on this build. Yeah, I did Raymond. The Raymond clear previously was the overall Monk rank 1. <laughs> I'm gonna probably keep this there because the time is cool. And uh, now we have this here as well. So I just, I just beat the Raymond clear basically. PJ is a bit stronger, but not too much actually. 
three to five tiers, I'd say. Did I make this music? No, it's just my playlist right now. But there's part of it that is produced for me, yes, with my name on it. But I didn't make it myself. I know Symphony. Uh, I know. I'm just blasting. Huge AB used for speed GRs. Yeah, it's a pretty decent speed build actually. It used to be the Monk meta when it came out for a while, and uh, it's still pretty solid. Like Wave of Light was kind of the meta for a while. So there's like there's like Water Ally, Wave of Light, and this here I'd say for Monk speed builds, they are kind of comparable I think. Been lurking, but you know, plenty three. Okay. <laughs> well, we gotta rank one on the monk for uh, all game modes in the season currently. Well, if you have not played T3, then right now I'm like looking for an all extreme map that is like the kind of the push mode. Every 25 keys you open an all extreme, which is like a better RNG map basically. Now Roland. <laughs> I would be kind of tempted to play Roland, but that will be another season, I think. Okay, we can try this one as well. Let's see. Got a frenzy, yeah. Okay, this is um, this is playable. Let's see. The follow up is good. Okay, we have primordial scavengers. That's kind of terrible. These guys will never die. Heal me. Don't want to press a potion just yet. I will return to use that ability. Ah, shouldn't have been that greedy with my serenity. You can definitely do two serenities if you want. If you constantly hit stuff, two serenities per COE cycle is actually doable. Okay, we're still staying on time on a map like this, and it's like a pretty decent monster type. But without killing elite, staying on time on a build like this, where you get like this huge quantity later, is. I kind of 45 is still kind of too low, I guess. But let's just see how this will go. Ouch. Fucking hell. Ugh. 
Da das, das sucks. Yeah, it's a bit scuffed sometimes when uh, I run out of resources. Like after the boom, you always run out of resources at some point. Okay, we got our Templar back. Okay, I can do it better though if I'm playing my playing a bit better. So I can act more smoothly, just not run out of resources and do like some random attack in the middle of nowhere. Get blasted. Like you ran out of resource after the boom because of Shenlong. And then if you hold down your left click, it will just do like a random order attack there. Like this. And then you build up your resource again. Okay, we're twenty one percent. I still wanna try to get a condi here. Ah, uh, this was no boom. Why? Don't we have like five seconds or something? So after a blind? It's very strange sometimes. Okay, for 25, let's just hope for the best. Looks like nothing though. I think there's one more on the right. Ah, this might be already discovered, I don't know. It's not going well, does it? It sucks. The elites. We do have a shield, actually. I'm not sure if that helps us enough. We spawn a jug. There's so many yellows here, and I can't get any of them. And this blue here is a primary scavenger that are also almost unkillable. Beautiful evil armor done. That's why I want to push Oryx team, man. Let's just open an Oryx. Very first year out of season was an Oryx. <laughs> For me, it actually took a long time to get my first one. Like, I was like, I don't know, 10 hours in or something when I got my first Oryx stream. A wild. Ah, here we go. Okay, not exactly a great monster type, I think. For this build, but let's see. Gonna try to make some juicy pull. 
I uh, could have waited a few seconds to do like a bit of a boom here. Ah, uh, okay, it worked. 2%. We got 2% per boom. That's decent. So it's zero though. Okay, I also realized when you have Frenzy Shrine, our resources go down. Because of Tempest Rush spending more. Let's just carry them to the exit and see if any of the blues kind of drop low. The more of these blues is half. He's an Inu beast, man. Oh no. It's time to move on. They're gonna block everything. I need a wall in there. boom or something and just go next. It's kind of sad because it's like, you know, actually a pretty good map to try to kill leads. I don't think we will in these circumstances. Just pretty terrible. Let's just go. We can get something else. Smashers. Also yellow water. Nah, I'm not sure if I like this. Oh man. I hate that running out of resources sometimes. <laughs> That was like no boom. There's no boom. enough this push feels way more dangerous than the Raymond. Despite having Obsidian, Serenity, moving around all the time. But this resource issue is noticeable. This stuff is like way too tanky for me to really do anything with it. 
if I just want to rush through a map. I can only rush through maps if it's like, while someone will be a curse or something. Stuck, man. Oh, can I keep it up? Up here. Let's go another one. I didn't even spawn a pilot, man. Like, this is awful. And uh, floor one was kind of ruined, I feel, by those packs. Especially the skelly and the monster was also not great. Any plans or build I use for season four? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna play the poison barrage. Probably gonna race with pen shots, I guess. Again, uh, the firebolt, the frozen orb, like basically all the new stuff I wanna play or most of it. Might do a double swing again because it's cool. I wanna try bone spear with the skellies and sever with skellies. I'm not sure if we're gonna play the Hurricane build, I already played on PTR and that was kind of fine, I guess. Okay, this is very good, let's go. Oh shit. Okay, let's just try to do like a small boom or something. Damn. It's a tiny boom. So if I 
arcane beams and stuff, man. I think I have at least two packs here. Don't mind a shield for this. Oh, Connie works. Let's see if this guy's there. We're gonna block all the pylons. Just get everything we can back to the Connie. That's another yellow. Shit. Can't keep it up. Ah! Fuck. He has such a large pool and I can't keep up my Shenlongs, man. With my spirit on crit. Damn. What's that? Maybe it doesn't even matter on my corner ball kills. God damn it. Two auto attacks, man. Double proc. It's not good. I'd actually die here. I'm gonna proc to run right, right after the other man. This is really bad. This was like no boom, man. What happened? The God Strikes ability is not yet recharged. So I have to pull these guys. They're all over the place. We got the mouse of them here now. Yeah, I think I have only dates.
I don't have much enough ready for this. Okay, that kind of worked out. Maybe like my little trash boom in the final exit or something up here. not good in the power okay maybe with the power we can spawn here we don't need it for the boss so i'm just gonna press it let me try to uh, kill trash maybe a blue if you're lucky this is very tanky trash and can barely drag it so this might just be over here nice roll band And a shield, oh. Too bad I discovered it so late. Oh, shield first would have been sick. Double, huh? I wonder if I can do something with that. Just watch out the yellow or something. That'd be doable. On a good nuke. Oh, well, the shield will help me to spawn anyway. It's only Illus, actually. Doing pretty consistent 2% per boom right now, so you'll almost spawn into the shield. Let's see. If we get most of the stuff, we should spawn. Many arcane stone. Okay, we have one more of the shields. That might be enough.
Ich nicht nein. Let's just hope that we spawn from this boom. Should work. And with a single target, this should be fine. Let's try to dodge around him. Don't get enough resources, man. Oh, just have to release it. No shenanigans. Didn't press any mantra. Damn, too early. I just can't get a resource, man. It's insane. Probably over now, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, maybe not. Gonna try to circle around in this one. Okay, this might work now. Ooh. Yeah, okay, I circled too much in the green. Okay, the same works much better, I'm not sure. Did the frenzy fall off or what? Okay. My channel just didn't proc, man, <laughs> at the end. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> that, was, that was a really scuffed boss kill, actually. I could have probably killed him like at least two bobs right there. I think I killed him without Shenong at the end. It popped, I think, after he was dead. <laughs> really strange, like, it's it's a bit weird on the boss. Like, did, okay, do I have Frenzy? I still have Frenzy. Like, it was very strange, like, for the first two rotations, I just couldn't get my resources up for Shenlongs at all. Not pressing the mantra at all. And then at the end, I got too much. I'm not sure what happened. Ah, I, got, I guess it was the CC initiative. I forgot about CC initiative. Yeah, okay, we spent more resources with the extra attack speed here. This is why. So this makes the start kind of hard. I didn't think about it. And then later, it just drops. And it's much easier. Honestly, I actually at a point where I'm considering you just keep like a resource instead of the attack speed roll or something on the Zodiac. I can't carry any more. At least when you have Crimson, the resource gives you like a nice toughness as well. Show you more. Hmm. He wants Nexus or Hammerlane? Nah, he wants, he wants single target boss for this. Like, a good single target boss dies in less than 90 seconds or something. This was like around 2 minutes now. I almost failed it actually, because of, you know, like the misplays and weird Shenlongs. But boss dies pretty fast. Also because I have like almost no air damage on this build, I only have here. So my AoE damage versus my single target damage is like much weaker. So if I had like, you know, full area, like here, here, and here, I can get three more area rolls. Here as well, I guess, potentially. Four area rolls, so it would have a double the amount of area damage. That would be kind of crazy. I could go all the way down to 50, even at like 2k Paragon, I guess, with this Guardian build. With some more fishing and stuff. The colony was good. We killed how many packs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six yellows. There was not a single blue. 
And that's actually, okay, I re returned executioner, it was a blur, but they might have just died there. Yeah, Flow 2 wasn't really great, but uh, the shield and the power allowed me to progress on trash, which was fine. Go for 146. Yeah, but probably not tonight, actually. I might do some more. I have some more keys. I will also want to do some more time attack on the Necro, maybe. So use like 100 keys now for the Monk. For Raymond. And this. So that's kind of nice. I think I'm gonna tomorrow I'm gonna either push a bit more on a monk, maybe both, maybe go a bit of monk. A bit of necro. That's the best sock builds. Uh it's LOD Meteor, I think. Stricken stacks so fast. Yeah, stricken like this build has a really high single target because balance also gives you 100% crit, so you do roughly double damage on single target compared to AoE pulls. And then you have Striker and you have relatively high attack speed. And you can also, like, on single target, on bosses, so it's quite easy to keep up your squirts necklace as well. So almost every time you have 10 squirt stacks, if it's like a boss like Rakanov or earlier I had, what was that? What was in the 143? Also, Acne and also some Raymond. But either way, like most bosses, you can keep up your squirts, and then you have like really nice pops. Dragon Lady. Was the Infernal Maiden? No. I don't remember what boss we had there. <laughs> anyway. And honestly, I think we're going to force stream tonight, guys. Tomorrow we're going to blast more, and then it's probably no rest of the wicked time. I'm not sure when exactly is the time for the no rest of the wicked release. Release time. 12 p.m. ET. What the hell is that? That's at 7 p.m. my time. Oh, okay. So I guess we're going to start early, do a bit of the free, and then do this. Let's see how it goes. Worst boss in my opinion. For this build, yeah, Choker is terrible. Like Choker is terrible for everyone, basically. At least it's super dangerous. He has adds. I probably can't keep my squirts. Like it's kinda terrible. So Choker is always bad. I guess Escaniel will be somewhat bad because usually it's fine. You can like let Escaniel spawn all the skellies and run away, but that takes like you know roughly 40 seconds or something. And 40 seconds is like half the boss fight on this build. So, like, Scarlet is just, like, extraordinarily long, I guess, in this case. I don't know, there's probably some other bad ones. Uh, Vizalius is the worst, actually, because he cannot be affected by blind, and this means you lose all of your damage, so you, you, can't execute, you can't kill Vizalius, basically. Because your brace are multiplier, it doesn't work. I mean, if, if you have, like, four or five minutes, I can probably kill Vizalius. But <laughs> only with like, you know, it's also a really dangerous boss on top of that, so. What can you change to a Gul Noah to get Guardian? I can drop Marlena, go Rogue, and... Yeah, you don't have a Bracer, so it's got like... Guardian Helm, Guardian Bracer. Or Lash. No, all Lash is fine. All Lash is single target boss, pretty easy. Nothing wrong for Lash. Any single target boss is fine, basically, for, for a build like this. But some are a bit better than others, you know, some just kind of are dangerous. Like, Agnox can be kind of dangerous. If I have full squirt stacks, and Agnox hits me with a fireball, I'm probably proking, at least. So, gonna dodge that. But yeah, you have to do this all with your movement and your serenity, basically. Because he can't just like, you know, teleport or dash or something. Anyway, looks good guys. I'm gonna probably peace out here and we're gonna do a bit more tomorrow and then no rest of the wicket. So, hope you enjoyed it.
Yo, let's raid um, DM today. How about that? Oh yeah, someone asked about a planner. This is uh, POJ Tempest Rush on Maxwell. Check it out. Have a good one, guys.